What's up, everybody? It's your boy back with another extra video. And I'll be reacting to SCP 2966 Infinity TP Keter uh, Thermodynamic SCP. This is another video recommended by um, Alpha Shocker. Uh, they want me to look at this. I've never actually, it, I saw you commented that you didn't know that. I had already heard of those SCPs before and seen some other videos of them, but it doesn't matter. I watch stuff all the time that I see. I'm reacting to Lucifer right now, even though I haven't uploaded anything, I think, in a couple of weeks. But uh, <laughs> I've seen that season from, I've seen that series from season one through four on my own multiple times. I haven't seen season five yet. I'm saving that. Will it be a raw reaction, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> like if you, if you get stuff and you want me to look at it, um, just post it. And I mean, in reason, obviously, like, like hey, look at this movie. It might take me longer if it's full length movie because I got to edit, obviously, or watch this TV series. You know, obviously, that's take a lot more effort because I got to edit it. And all that stuff, so and it takes more time, obviously, because it's a whole series. But uh, but yeah, it doesn't. It's it's cool. Yeah, whatever you wanna throw in there, don't bother me. Uh, if I can't react to it, then I, I won't. I'll you know, say I can't react to this. Uh, but I'm pretty open. So, but anyway, let's get into this. It's only like 16 minutes. So. Cam called there. So like, what's Cam cursing? All right, here we go. Oh yeah, I put a link in the description to this video. I can't remember what the actual channel I saw, but I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head. But. So you can go to check out the original video yourself. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going Sub to be Dr. looking Miller. at today is, is SCP 2966. Object class, Kenter. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2966 is to be contained at Outpost 117, and at no time shall any other SCP objects be contained with it. Mm. A liquid fluoride thorium reactor is to be powered at all times with the heat exchange directly in thermodynamic contact with SCP-2966's housing. Before usage of SCP-2966, monitors will ensure that there are at least 2.04 times 10 to the power of 17 joules of heat energy available to thermodynamically transfer into SCP-2966's housing. During hmm. use, this heat energy transfer okay. will be carefully monitored to match the rate of matter removal. A skeleton crew shall occupy Outpost 117 to minimize the risk of casualties. This crew shall consist of three persons trained in the maintenance and upkeep of a liquid fluoride thorium reactor, four research personnel to monitor both SCP-2966's state and the state of the reactor, two four-man squads of security personnel to patrol a 25-kilometer perimeter around Outpost 117's location and deter civilian entrance, and one D-class personnel to use SCP-2966. A D-Class shall use SCP-2966 three times per day at eight-hour intervals. Is 2966 toilet paper? Is that what 1600, 2400, where use is defined as the removal of at least 10 sheets from SCP-2966. Okay, use is to be heavily monitored, and contact shall be kept with the D-Class subject at all cat? times during said use, in order to modulate the speed with which SCP-2966 is used. A regulator placed on the reactor shall accordingly adjust energy output to match inevitable changes in the rate at which SCP-2966 is used. A scale attached to SCP-2966's housing shall determine its mass at all times and relay said information to monitoring staff. Hmm, mass. Construction of an airstrip for jet aircraft is currently undergoing evaluation as a possible means of escape 
should SCP-2966 reach the critical stage, as well as a means for connection to larger adjacent Foundation sites. Okay, here go to description. Description. SCP-2966 is an anomalous roll of brand toilet paper. The roll currently averages a mass of around kilograms, though attempting to reduce this mass is discouraged as a result of Incident 2966-35-A. Toilet paper sheets removed from SCP-2966 are, beyond being incredibly effective at removing stray fecal matter, non-anomalous and energetically stable. The roll section of SCP-2966 is housed in a steel container attached to a wall mounting which has no means for accessing the roll for replacement or removal. Non-invasive testing of the housing has not yet yielded a clear picture of what is inside the housing and invasive testing is discouraged due to SCP-2966's volatile nature. In addition, the housing serves as the main heatsink for the thermal transfer between SCP-2966 and the reactor. Damaging the thermodynamic oh. connection may result in SCP-2966 going critical. What does that look like? SCP-2966 is anomalous in that it is effectively an infinite roll of toilet paper. Oh, shit. Since containment That's, started, we can use that now. approximately <laughs> kilometers I mean, of toilet paper has been part. removed yeah. from SCP-2966. No means of inputting mass or more toilet paper have been observed, and testing has revealed no temporal retrieval of additional paper from a different location or dimension. The mechanism by which SCP-2966 accomplishes this is entirely unknown, though its effects are well understood. SCP-2966 obeys the laws of mass energy conservation and through unknown means absorbs energy from its surroundings in order to create the matter that makes up the toilet paper. Mm. One sheet of SCP-2966 weighs approximately 3 grams, which means that approximately 2.04 times 10 to the power of 16 joules of energy, or roughly 65 tons of TNT, is needed for one sheet of SCP-2966 to be produced. It is estimated that there are sheets formed within the role of SCP-2966, or a yield of the megatons of TNT. If more than 10 sheets are removed at one time from SCP-2966, it will absorb the energy around it at roughly the rate at which sheets are removed. The form of energy absorbed is most often heat energy, though SCP-2966 does not appear to have a preference. Testing has shown that ambient sound energy has also been decreased during use. Without hmm. an external source of energy to provide power to SCP-2966, the large amount of energy needed to form one sheet, 2.04 times 10 to the power of 16 joules, is absorbed from the ambient heat of the surroundings, quickly bringing the temperature of all matter within a radius of oh, wow. meters so to near absolute zero. Death, yeah. This has happened twice during power failures. Both times, on-site staff have sacrificed themselves to remove 10 sheets, killing themselves through hypothermia instantly. Yes, While not a sustainable down. containment solution, such a sacrifice has prevented SCP-2966 from going critical. Should've used the three seashells. If SCP-2966 is not used, it will begin to lose the matter it has gained, turned into energy once more at a rate given as E, N, joules per second, where n is the number of minutes since last use. This energy is radiated away in the form of heat, and occasionally alpha particles. The optimum balance between usage and radiation has been determined to be slightly more than 8 hours, reflected in the special containment procedures. As this rate increases exponentially, SCP-2966 will reach a critical stage no. approximately so two you hours don't use after it last use, in which the rate of energy radiation will rapidly approach infinity. Effectively, this results in SCP-2966 converting its remaining mass entirely to energy in an instant. This is estimated to produce roughly 1 times 10 to the power of joules of energy, or an explosion with a yield of megatons. Despite Outpost 117's remote location, a fully critical SCP-2966 situation 
is estimated to produce casualties in excess of what the Foundation is equipped to handle. Sheesh. I'm guessing During that's pretty big. During usage of SCP-2966, D-Class subjects have reported an occasional decrease in room temperature. D-Class have also reported that the paper removed from SCP-2966 is exceptionally comfortable, effective, and strong. Requests for sheets removed from SCP-2966 to be re-rolled and used at Foundation facilities have been denied. Yeah, 2966 I can see why. Recovery Log Ooh, fuck me. SCP-2966 was discovered after Foundation agents no the National Weather Service. A subsequent investigation by a mobile task force Rocketeer revealed that one Pine Range research had been frozen over in an area of about one kilometer square, despite it being a warm summer day. Data returned by MTF Theta-19 indicates that the temperature of the area had been approximately minus 108 degrees Celsius, far lower than any Damn. temperature naturally recorded on Earth. Yeah, what the f As to why the area was not absolute zero, research has suggested that the usage of SCP-2966 had occurred several hours earlier, in which the sun had time to warm the area. MTF Theta-19 breached the building and found that all present in the building had been killed as a result of the temperature drop. A researcher later identified as Dr. was discovered after apparently giving a demonstration to several others holding SCP-2966. Yeah, that was dumb. The effects of SCP-2966 rendered all electronics within the site corrupted. Thus, no data could be obtained as to how SCP-2966 was created. However, MTF Theta-19 did discover a handwritten journal belonging to Dr. in his office. And while the pages were covered in frost, parts of the journal were recovered and able to be read. See document 2966-01. Several locals had noticed the rapid temperature drop. A cover story of a ruptured liquid nitrogen tank was disseminated, and Class A amnestics administered. SCP-2966 was studied in situ in the following hours after a secure perimeter had been established, its properties determined and successfully contained. Document 2966 Oh, one. Just think of you pull that off, I know it, and yo, you just go to absolute Today zero. we have achieved a breakthrough in toilet paper technology. Not a single man will need to feel the burning pain of an uncleaned nether region ever again. Moreover, this will likely make me exceedingly rich once we figure out how to make other I mean, paper products. Yeah. Like but, tissues, and well, maybe even make plates. Make it so epic. A minor setback has occurred no with the human will ever project. know what unclean We can't produce cellulose fibers fast enough to make a truly infinite roll. A possible solution is the liberal application of halved hafnium, otherwise known as quaternium. While exceedingly rare and expensive, sacrifices must be made in the pursuit of science. You know you about to While fuck the others call me a fool, says, sacrifice I think that in this day made. and age, anyone with a doctorate should be able to, to understand up, others' work, a bunch of even if it's in a different branch. That's just good science. If you can write well enough for the layman to understand, who cares if I'm a botanist? I should be able to decipher Dr. Th paper on quaternium. He's a botanist? Note. No such element known as quaternium so even a chemist? exists. The housing is complete. We've added the initial paper, and soon, the quaternium alloy will be complete for insertion into the hyperbaric containment field. Of course, the yacht arrays have proven themselves to be an issue, but they shouldn't terribly hamper the reduction of the fermium pairs. No. The rest of the entry is illegible. It appears that the threshold energy for the fermium pair production is slightly higher than my calculations suggest. No matter. I'll just rework the calculations with Fermi estimation, and that should put us in a good place to test tomorrow. Soon, the world will never need toilet paper again. 
No. He making this after this so entry epic. are several partially legible that equations means right now solved a pretty by big hand. deal. Still, Thorough just... hand calculations were done by Foundation physicists with the same constants, which revealed that Dr. had apparently misplaced the square in E equals MC squared early in his work. This led to substantially lower energies than in reality, he replaced possibly square. reinforcing Dr. The idea that he could create matter from energy safely. Incident 2966-35A On Test 2966-35A was conducted. An attempt to see if a reduction in mass could be achieved by rapid removal of SCP-2966 sheets while supplying an excess of energy. This resulted in SCP-2966 immediately going critical. The subsequent energy release times 10 to the power of joules destroyed Outpost 117 and resulted in casualties. Due to Outpost 117's remote location, no non-Foundation casualties were reported. SCP-2966 was recovered unharmed and weighed grams less. Outpost 117 has since been rebuilt and I'll containment shit like this, that You gotta work for these fuckers at any moment. You could just <laughs> Indestructible lizards, living masks, skinny dudes who don't like their faces looked at, the weirdest shit you could possibly guy. imagine, and I'm doing a lecture on infinity toilet paper. I love my job sometimes. <laughs> I mean, infinity anyway, toilet paper. Anyway, I think that about does it for today. Explode. Thank you all for listening, and if indeed you still are. Wiping out and you are all dismissed. Of people in life. Goodbye. I guess it's a good thing it's not uh, 2006. I guess it's a good thing that um, it's a good thing that uh, it's not radioactive. But that's right. These stories, man, it's it astounds me just how creative some, some people are like, wait a minute. Like if someone gave me a concept and they're like, I'm going to write something for the SCP universe. And you're like, okay. And like, I want you to hit a concept. Like, All right. It's a, it's uh, an infinite roll of toilet paper that when you use it, it absorbs uh, energy around it in order to create more toilet paper. But it, and it particularly likes heat. So the temperature around it, depending on how much you take out in the, in its immediate area will drop and it could drop potentially drop to um, absolute zero killing uh, everybody around it, obviously <laughs> or if you don't use it like it it continues to collect energy to the point where it expels it once he I guess gets full in in rapid succession where it explodes Killing untold amount, like wiping out untold amount of land. So, and I'll be like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> like, you you would think like, uh, infinite toilet paper." And of course, because I was like, "Who made this?" Of course, it's fucking humans. Of course, people made this shit. And this dude is so enthusiastic. Like I, I mean, he was right. He's gonna be rich if he was able to to do this. And it is infinite toilet paper. Now, the only thing about it is, who will buy this? Because you only need to buy it once. I guess if you, if it's the mega rich, uh, you can say, hey, you gotta give me a billion dollars for one. You know, and. This motherfucker's a botanist. He's like, I can do this. I, I, I'm a botanist. Like, well, there's somebody having a degree, and like I, I can do uh, uh, thermodynamics. I had a degree in in, li in literary arts. It's like what? I mean, I mean, at least he, you know, is in some form of science. But still, like you, you, you're not on that level. Nowhere near that. That's like so. Like, if you want to be similar, like, oh yeah, I'm a uh, like 
a carpenter. So I can uh, just draw plans for uh, plans for buildings like uh, like I'm a fucking architect, even though I haven't done any type of studies or anything, even on my own as architect. <laughs> It's like that's 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 not how that works, dude. <laughs> yeah, like at least you, if you've done something on your own, I might give you the benefit of the doubt because I mean you haven't proved anything. But unless I see some of your uh, like your drawings, the different builds and stuff, but like what this dude? He has so much. I think he was thinking more about the money that he could potentially make. Like I said, some with this. If it's infinite, like you gonna use, you only gonna be able to sell it to the rich, unless you sell it to a company. If, if they could use it to the point where, oh, we can just wrap toilet paper around like another roll and then sell it like that, like just and then it's because uh, I'm I'm assuming that the toilet paper has to be in the and that dispenser in order to work I'm, I'm i'm assuming that it's the it's the um it's what it's encased in is actually absorbing the energy and stuff and then creating the toilet paper i'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's not just toilet paper miraculously creating itself it just and for some reason it's doing it on that particular that particular spot on that roll i'm assuming it has something to do with the case and the fact that it's indestructible because it blew up and then they found it intact <laughs> so so it just releases the energy I guess in a vicinity like it'd be like if this was a thing but it released the energy like around here and out so nothing there was no energy being released in like inside of it so it doesn't blow up but the money I mean, that's why people make like crap stuff or stuff that they know will start to break down after like, you know, five years or so, or they'll make something like, Hey, if they make something that that's reliable, that will last a long time, they'll make a bunch of accessories to it. So then you got to buy that shit, you know, and that shit don't last that long because why would you make stuff that is indestructible? And not just long lasting, but infinitely lasting. Like if they, if they had no uh, side effects, if they just made toilet paper forever, like who? Like he's somebody who's gonna be rich. Like who are you gonna sell that to? Because you sell that to the average person. At a, at a, it has to be at an affordable price. They won't ever need toilet paper again. So the toilet paper companies will literally go out of business like anything like anybody who owns a toilet paper company like he better watch his back because they're going to be sending hit men out there because like, you're about to completely destroy someone's career and like i said unless he's going to sell it to the the company and they can somehow like the thing didn't have any side effects on him so if uh if he just sells those like he can make those uh, rolls or those uh, toilet paper dispensers, and he could just sell them. Hey, I'll eat. all they need is one. He said, like, "Hey, you can buy this for ten percent of what your company is." I'm trying to be in reason because I don't. I mean, he could say fifty percent, like fifty percent of what your company is worth right now. I want that for what I've created infinite toilet paper and then you can just roll it off the road put it on uh, new rolls package it and you won't ever have to you can completely cut the cost of actually making the toilet paper it's already infinite all you gotta do is have uh, and I guess you have one big warehouse because if you only get one to, unless you buy multiple of these things where you could put them in each where in a bunch of different warehouses all over the world in your factory. Then you have to know, okay. Uh, like I said, well, in that case, it would be 50%. Because <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about them just buying one. I'm like, yeah, 10% of your company. But 
fifty percent of what your company's worth, and then you do that to multiple toilet paper companies. Yeah, you could have, you will literally be the richest person I think in the world if you do that with every toilet paper company in the world and say, "Hey, give me fifty percent of what your uh, company is worth right now." for and I will and I have multiple of these things that you can put each one in your warehouse and wrap up the toilet paper and then sell it again and but you don't have to make it anymore you don't have to make the toilet paper so you can completely cut that out so if you think about it you you probably save so much I mean you still have to spend money on the distribution and stuff like that and, and the uh, shipping and all that stuff and on some workers but you completely cut out the making of it like that 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 right there probably save you tens of like maybe even hundreds of millions of dollars over you know so many years you know in the long run it's gonna save you tons of money so if you think about it 50 percent is a small price to pay if you think about it in the long run you know especially if you are gigantic uh toilet paper company you know but <laughs> that would be I mean like I said the, anything that when you when you make something you're like this is infinite you will never have to buy anything ever again but you, you asking for it like it, it must be short term unless you you are charging so much for it that you can just like get your money of a bunch of people buy a bunch of people like it's a good product you take your money and then move on to another a business or whatever that you're doing or you do like some people do where you do subscriptions you know but in this situation where you're making a physical product that is infinite <laughs> it is it's a bit different than like you know something that's digital or whatever or, or a service that's different but uh yeah good video that was very interesting I, I, i've never actually heard of this scp i know there's a bunch i haven't heard of or seen even though like i said before the past year i just for some reason i got on a scp fix and i was just looking at a bunch of different scp stuff i had never even uh i don't know why at least i don't remember hearing of because like i was reading about scps at least like a decade ago and i hadn't really been up on it ever since then until like i said the beginning of last year where i just like right at the, this really like right before the quarantine started and i just started randomly looking at scp videos like it i think i think someone was recommended and i looked at it yeah, it was. Um, what was it? Is it SCP five thousand the Gate Guardian or whatever? It was that was recommended for a channel, and I watched it. And then of course when I watched that, YouTube was like, "Well, how about this?" And it recommended like two more videos from two different other channels. And then now, like well, even before, like, like right after then, I started seeing recommendations all all damn time. Just recommendation. Oh, here's oh you like that? Here's an animated version of it. You know, here's a, a, a channel called The Rubber and Doctor Void, and there was another channel, uh, SCP Animated or SCP Illustrated and stuff like that. And SCP Illustrated I think was one of the first ones that I started getting requests for. I mean, um, request uh, recommendations for on YouTube, and I subscribed to like all of them. <laughs> the ones I looked at, even ones I was like, yeah, they're all right, but I still like subscribe to it because I just sit and watch, <laughs> like go to sleep and watch it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, hope you all enjoyed my reaction. And if you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Hit that bell and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Uh, comment down below, share this video. Oh, let me know. Uh, I was gonna say would you use this product but you had to take it as is and I feel that I don't know about you but 
you know, sometimes you have you know, a lot come out and you need more than three sheets, you know, because he said he took, they took 10 sheets and they killed everyone. <laughs> so he said, they take, he said they have a, a uh, I forget, he said D class take three sheets. Is it a day? I can't remember when he said like how many times they do it a day, but he said three sheets. So I'm guessing the three sheets, it lowers the temperature, but not to the point, not to absolute zero, where it just kills you instantly. So, would you, would you use this? But if someone gave you this, hey, here is a dispenser, toilet paper dispenser, and you can put in your house, and it never runs out of toilet paper. Now the side effects is you have to you can't use more than three sheets at a time they like don't roll off 10 at one time like you can't use more than three safely because the temperature will drastically drop around you which could kill you and that's just this is i can't remember on top of my head uh let's say you have to use it what did, what did they say you should use bad more three times a day okay you have to use it at least three times in 24 hours so now it's infinite so even if let's say you don't use the bathroom you just go in there and just tear off toilet paper and three 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 squares throw it in the in, in the toilet so would you accept this or would you just be all right buying your own toilet paper me personally i'd rather not have a potential like we said 65 tons of, of TNT per sheet and then it all if you don't use it, it all expels it at once I'd rather not have a potential like nuclear bomb in my bathroom that if I if I, I might forget or fall asleep and I, I use the bathroom twice and end up falling asleep and don't wake up because it went past 24 hours and my whole like neighborhood blew not even just neighborhood it'd be the whole like city is blown up <laughs> and, and, and bordering a bunch of others it looked like it like the predator like set off a bomb <laughs> yeah, so let me know would you would you do that just to have infinite talk especially what happened the last quarantine where everyone bought all the goddamn toilet paper like fucking insane people that and the fucking paper towel but, uh, yeah let me know in the comments down below i'll see y'all next time peace